Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to talk about just some lies that I have been believing for a long time and I have been set straight when it comes to the whole fat loss journey. So stay tuned. Joop. Yay. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. Um, so today, this is what has been quite an epiphany for me with losing over 100 pounds here of what I need to do and really helped me on my journey. Uh, so I thought I would share those things with you because it's amazing. Um, I've been hearing back from people about on their journeys and talking to people who have lost weight before and all this stuff. And just some of these little like lies and beliefs that they just set straight in their mind were huge game changers when it came to actually achieving their goals and their weight loss. So I have really been like upping my antennas and really increasing my awareness around this area in my mind during this whole weight loss journey. So um, welcome to my channel. I am Allison. This is Collecting Excellence. I am on a journey to get out of debt and also to lose 100 pounds. Um, and so this is my story and this is how I'm doing things. Also, I will eventually start working in personal development into this mix as well and just becoming better because this is what life's about. It's about collecting excellence practicing excellence so that we live our best lives and live out to our fullest potential. So I want to show you along this journey, kind of the good, the bad, and the ugly, and what it looks like for me, what transformation looks like for me. So um, what I have found specifically is that losing this weight is not a thorn in my side. Like being obese, I used to think about all of this in and my thing. So what I want to specifically say is losing weight and getting free from obesity is not a thorning in my side. It is a mountain to climb and a mountain to overcome to have the victory. And so for the longest time, I have been thinking of being overweight and all of this as a struggle and as a thorn in the side. For those of you who do not know the biblical reference, there is a part in the scriptures where Paul prays and asks God to eliminate this thorn in his side. And God basically says, no, this is a thorn and my grace is sufficient for you, is what he basically tells Paul that he asked him three times to please remove it and he said no. All the scriptures and all of the theologians, there's different reasons why, what they think the thorn in the side was for Paul. I believe he had vision problems. Um, they believed, some theologians believed, or had some sort of a, like autoimmune issue that caused him to have like exacerbations or something. So anyway, nobody really specifically knows, but number one, this is not true for me in my life. It is not a thorn in my side, it is a mountain to climb. And so I actually have a scripture for that too, <laughs> that God showed me by the way. Uh, and so obviously I don't want this to be Bible study, but this was a lie. I have literally been believing for years, years that it was something I had to live with and that that me being overweight and all this stuff that this is going to always be a struggle and i'm never going to get over it it's a thorn in my side and hopefully one day god will remove it like all this stuff i mean i like literally was believing this and then one day god was showing me it's not a thorn in your side it's a mountain to climb i'm going to show you the scripture that um, god actually showed me it's in my journal here it's in psalm and it is psalm 40 to be and it says um, now God, he's lifted me up into a firm, secure place and steadied me while I walk along his ascending path. Okay. The word ascending. Does anybody know what the word ascending means? It's a nice way of saying it's uphill. Okay. And so this was the scripture that kind of set me free from me thinking that losing weight is a thorn in my side, but it's a mountain to climb, to overcome, to have the victory, you know? And so that's where I'm at. That is a huge lesson I've learned that, that God is sending me up an ascending path. And when you go up his ascending path, it is a mountain 
And so I am climbing and climbing up a mountain takes effort, right? And it's also uphill. It's gonna get our booty lifted. You know what I'm saying? An inch or two. We gotta get it popping. It's, it'll be nice. So that is a huge lesson that I've learned that this is like an overcoming thing. This should be a positive thing. It's victorious. It is, it's like a huge like vision of a victory and overcoming, not of like, oh, struggle and like crawling to the end and I don't know if I'm really gonna ever make it kind of thing. Um, so that has just completely shifted in my mind and in my demeanor and all of this stuff. And it's just empowered me so to understand that this is where I'm at and this is the truth of it. That's what the biggest thing whenever like you're being deceived and you are you have like a weird perception and of things in your mind, you end up believing things that are just not true. And when, when you know, it's true that the truth does set you free. I know I'm preaching today y'all, but I just am like, it's so true when you embrace truth and you grasp a truth, it's like, oh my gosh, duh. And like, it just like, it complete, completely solidifies you and empowers you to be able to continue doing what you're doing or to change, you know? So I was very excited and hopeful and very thankful to to learn that like that thought pattern I had in my mind that I, that struggle and thorn and defeat. No, it's not true. This is like a victory. This is supposed to be like going on a hike, climbing up a mountain, working toward it and all that. So anyway, I hope that encourages you too, or speaks to you in that way. Um, the second thing I'm learning on this whole weight loss journey so far, cause it's just a long journey. Um, losing a hundred pounds is just, oh my gosh, it's just like, it's a grind, you know? Uh, but the second thing I've been learning is I, you know, everybody talks about how you have to get your mind right and do the mindset. It's your mindset, blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh my gosh, I roll. But you guys, uh, it is true. Oh my gosh, it's so true. I have been working on becoming what I think about and thinking about what I become. Like it is a, it is a both and thing. Like you have to just guard your mind and stay in the frame of mind of health and wholeness, W-H-O-L-E-N-E-S-S, -E -E -S, wholeness, and stay in that victory idea. And then when you get discouraged, it piggybacks on that other lie that no, I'm climbing a mountain. This is not a thorn to my side. I'm climbing a mountain. This is a hard part of the mountain. I'm getting through it. And then with um, with your mind, like you constantly, I constantly have to be thinking about my goal and my why um, and all of that stuff. Like I've really been working on my mind and also tying my positive emotions and these empowering emotions to my goal and who I want to become. I've been really working on this vision. Really, I've been really trying to create a vision of who I want to become, what that's going to look like, um, what's it going to look like when I'm at my goal weight and doing the things that I want to do and moving toward that stuff. And you know what's kind of happening with all of that? Like, you know how they say fake it till you make it or start be start acting like the person you want to become? That is very true to an extent, but you also have to go back to your mind's eye as well of what you're wanting. So it's like, it's not just both, it's both and I guess. It's not do it and then it's gonna become, it's like both and. You have to see it in your mind, then start practicing it, and then keep on revisiting it. And so I feel like I've missed that part <laughs> in what people are saying. Cause you know, I listen to all these podcasts, I read all these books, I do everything, you know, like to try to move forward in personal development and work things. But like, sometimes it just takes a little bit more repetition. And if it's not feeling right, you got to go back to kind of your source and come back from a new place. So don't be afraid to start over. Like, don't be afraid to kind of revisit stuff if something's not feeling right. Like that is, I would say, the biggest lesson I'm getting in this uh, whole 
weight loss journey as well. But I am telling you, it is so, it's very mental. It is so, people are right. It, it is so much more mental energy than anyone would ever assume or want um, to make a real change, I guess is what I should say. And so that is another factor I've been thinking about um, that I've really been putting forth a ton of effort and just thinking on and meditating on and really working on that vision um, as well. And there was something else I was gonna say, my thing is, two things can be true at the same time. That's been my big lesson too. Um, you can, you can't have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> no, but um, just kidding. So two things can be true at the same time. And so that basically is like, you know how people have all or nothing thinking or like you're either on or off or, you know, finding that middle ground. I'm not talking about balance, but I'm talking about like the two things that are true like you know how you can be so happy with certain areas of your life and like just be ecstatic and then in other areas you're absolutely disgusted that's what that is what it's like to lose a hundred pounds <laughs> and so I've really been kind of sitting in that messy middle too um and especially with trying to show you guys this journey and show and share on my way it has been really tricky to stay in my own head and not like worry about what I'm putting out in the, in the ever whelms, you know, or whatever the, the, the universe. I mean, is that lame that I'm saying that? Okay. Um, so the, the big thing is two things can be true at the same time. And that I've been really studying that dichotomy when it comes to losing weight. You can feel like I have been feeling really good about myself. I have been sticking to my plan of staying within my calories and hitting my protein and then leaving the rest up to God, kind of walking, working out, getting my 10,000 steps in every day, keeping it super simple. But um, then on the other side, I'm disgusted with myself because things are not happening as quickly as I would like. And I just know that if you keep on the path, two things can be true. You know what I mean? So yes, I and I think about this all the time. So those are kind of the three lessons I've been really thinking about lady, lately and really pondering and really wanting to get this so I continue to move on. So I hope this helps you guys. Like and subscribe if you want to follow along. Um, I also talk about budgeting. I also do weight loss and then I'll do like what I eat in the day and vlogs and all of that like during the weekend just to kind of show you guys my life. Um, but yeah, drop in the comments. Let me know how much weight you need to lose or what you're working on, what, what you're wanting, any other material you guys are wanting to learn about um, or want me to share on. Um, yeah, so until next time though, I want you to stay curious. That's what's gonna get you to keep moving forward. If you stay curious, that is what's gonna, that is the beginning of change. Chat soon, bye now.